Alan Bean, a former NASA astronaut and U.S. Navy captain, does not believe that aliens have ever visited Earth. Bean is only one of 12 people to have walked on the moon. He was part of the crew of the Apollo 12 mission, which went to the moon in November 1969. Bean, now 85 years old, was recently interviewed by an Australian news agency. He was asked if he believed aliens had ever come to Earth. He said no, but his theory was odd. Bean explained. One of the reasons I don't believe aliens have been here is that civilizations that are more advanced are more altruistic and friendly, so they would have landed and said, we come in peace, and we know from our studies you have cancer that kills people. We solved that problem 50 years ago. Here's the gadget we put on a person's chest that will cure it. We will show you how to make it. In other words, Bean thinks that because there are still deadly medical conditions like cancer, this is proof that aliens have never come here. This theory has lots of problems. First, how do we know that alien bodies and biology would be similar to human bodies and biology, and subject to the same kinds of medical conditions? That is, maybe aliens never suffered the kinds of cancers that humans suffer, and maybe they never had the need to develop a cure for them. Or maybe advanced alien life evolved beyond cancer millions of years ago, and visiting aliens don't get cancer, and, therefore, don't need a cure for it. But let's say you're an alien and you have a cure for human cancer. You want to come here and spread the word about the cure. Who do you tell? You tell the big drug companies who have the ability to manufacture the cancer-killing drugs, right? By the way, who sits down with an alien to discuss a cure for cancer? Mr. Anderson, your two o'clock is here. He says he has the cure for cancer. Also he's four feet tall, has a giant head, and big black eyes. Seriously though, Cancer-fighting drugs are big business. If you're making billions of dollars a year selling chemotherapy drugs, with an endless number of customers, why would you stop making them? Once the cure comes out, say goodbye to the lucrative chemo drugs. And governments across the world would put strict price controls on the cost of the cancer-curing drugs because of their importance. The big pharma drug makers would lose out on billions of dollars. In other words, aliens could have come here, given us the cure for cancer, but no one is selling the cure because there is no financial incentive in doing so. Bean talks about a gadget to put on your chest, but maybe cancer can't be cured with a gadget on your chest, whether you're an alien or a human. Finally, Bean makes the claim that advanced alien civilizations would want to intervene in our world to help us. Maybe aliens have intervened here and there but not too much. Maybe they think how humans get along isn't their business. Or maybe they don't want to help humans. Maybe aliens think that humans are too flawed to help and should be allowed to die out. There are all kinds of possible explanations why aliens would not want to intervene in, or interfere with, human activity. Bean has had a long and distinguished career and has accomplished what few people ever have. But his theories on why he doesn't think aliens have visited are not convincing.